good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to what may be the last video vlog of the, of the season here, I think. Maybe we'll get another one at the end of uh, June, but for now, this may be it. So I just wanted to start out by saying thank you. Uh, as most of you know, this has been my first year in the Peninsula School District. Started July 1, 2016, so July 1, 2017 is right around the corner. Uh, and that'll mark the one-year anniversary. And, and let me tell you, it's been a fantastic um, voyage, I guess, uh, over the course of this year. Um, I have been impressed with every time I go out and speak with people about the kind of support and appreciation you all have for uh, this district and the work that we do with our students. I've been extremely impressed with the efforts on our staff, both administratively, uh, our teachers, our, our classified staff, maintenance, bus drivers. Um, what I've found is that in the Peninsula School District, everyone truly cares about kids. They want to make sure that our kids are, are feeling safe, uh, that they feel respected and valued, kind of our core beliefs around um, what we hope for our kids so that they can learn and reach their highest potential. So that at the end, in graduation, when they leave our schools, they'll come out uh, being able to take advantage of whatever opportunity comes their way. And I think because of the work uh, and the effort of our staff and because of the support and community involvement that we have, uh, we're able to do that with the majority of our students. I also want to personally thank uh, my individual staff, our assistant superintendents, John Helwick and Dan Gregory, uh, Karen Anderson, um, my executive assistant, uh, Marilyn Wilson, for keeping me on track and helping to um, impart the vision that uh, we have uh, put together for this Peninsula School District this year. And, and finally, I want to thank our school board. Um, they've been a tremendous support to me. Uh, they uh, work well together. They come together and debate and um, really ensure that what we're doing makes sense, uh, is fiscally responsible, and continues the vision of making sure that our students are as successful as possible. So thank you to the board, thank you to the community, our staff, and of course our students and our interns here in the tech world that are helping with the video blog and the many other things that they've done. So it's been a great year around that and of course it all culminates with our end of the year graduation ceremony. So we've got a couple coming up on June 13th. We have the Peninsula Internet Academy graduation at uh, 630 I believe at Henderson Bay High School and then right before that will be our community transition program at 4 p.m. on June 13th at Chapel Hill. Um, so those two programs are kind of uh, uh, smaller programs, the, the Internet Academy, obviously those students who are taking a lot of their courses online. Uh, the Community Transition Program are for those kids who are some of our uh, more severely challenged kids who are out and about the community and we really help them uh, become more independent so that they can be successful once they leave our schools. Uh, then we have of course our, our uh, Henderson Bay High School which will be uh, June, I'm looking at my notes here, June 16th, Friday June 16th at the Boys and Girls Club at 6.30. So that'll be the Henderson Bay High School graduation. And then on Father's Day, actually, on Sunday, June 18th, we have our two comprehensive high schools. We have Gig Har or Peninsula High School at 12.30 p.m. at the Tacoma Dome, and then Gig Harbor High School at 3.30 p.m. at the Tacoma Dome. So all these celebrations of graduation are coming up, and uh, I hope you're able to see some of our students of distinction in the paper that have come our way. And those are just sort of a glimmer uh, the amazing outstanding students that we have and sort of a culmination of the great work that our staff have been doing uh, since preschool uh, all the way up into high school. So those graduation moments are coming right around the corner and I got to tell you it's exciting to see the success that we've had. Our graduation last year was about 86.1 percent. We're anticipating a, a, an uptick on that this year. Um, and uh, more importantly, we're believing that uh, because of the work that has happened and because of our uh, vision and the, and the exceptional uh, efforts on our community and staff and teachers and everyone involved, our students are really are going to be successful and, and have a great career once they leave our high schools, whether that be uh, at a two-year college or a four-year college or a tech school, um, entrepreneurial, or just move right into a career. We know that our kids will be successful and, and we're both so thankful for all of the work that our students and staff and community have done. So thank you. And this first year kind of winds down. I appreciate all of your support for me personally and look forward to year two to start July 1, 2017. So thank you very much. I hope you have a great uh, graduation season here and uh, move up ceremonies for all our fifth graders and eighth graders, etc. So uh, thank you very much again for watching and listening and have a great day.